Underscore Production. I'm your host, Suttles, and today we're going to be talking about Daniel Jones' third year to make a break. What are we going to do? Let's get it. Yes, yes, I do have one, this jersey. Yes, it is backwards. 2000 theme. But I wanted everybody to know what this video is about. It's clearly about Daniel Jones. The Giants have made the moves for this guy to be successful. Joe Judge and Dave Gettleman have made the moves during free agency to make this guy successful. That is it. There is no other excuse. The bare minimum for Daniel Jones this season is to bring the Giants to the playoffs. Simple as that. We have a 17-game season now. So... This team constructed the way that it is, not with a uh, superstar quarterback or anything of that nature. I believe that this is a eight to nine win team. So now this is a seventeen game season. So basically, an eight and nine or a nine and eight type team. We have added pieces on the defensive side. We was eighth overall in defense last year. This year, coming back, bringing a lot more guys and filling the holes on what we needed, I believe that we will be a top five defense. So if Daniel Jones has a top five defense, a number one wide receiver in Kenny Galladay, Darius Slayton going back to his original, which is a number two, you got your slot receiver, you still got Evan Ingram, hopefully he can catch the ball this season, and then you get and say Quan Barkley back, who is arguably the best talented running back in the NFL if he can stay healthy. And you have a promising offensive line. All the pressure for the New York pressure is on Daniel Jones. There's no if, and, or but about it. Now, for me, I'm going to state this now. I believe that we'll probably be 10-7 and 7, and that Daniel Jones can lead us to the playoffs, get that playoff experience. But here are a few scenarios where... I say we need to go into next year's draft looking for a quarterback. If Daniel Jones don't make the playoffs, <laughs> we're looking for another quarterback. Point blank, period. Three years, I believe that is the cutting point to when you can evaluate a quarterback, and that is when you're going to see what he is and what he isn't. And this is his third year. We've seen him have a promising statistical rookie season, but he had a lot of flaws. We've seen him clean up those flaws in the second season, but not so good statistically. Third season, he needs to put everything together. Dave Gettleman has through has put all his chips to the middle on Daniel Jones. Joe Judge, he has clamored, and he has said, this guy's a leader. This is everything that we wanted. Everything is on Daniel Jones. Because if we had just a regular quarterback who's not going to turn the ball over, basically like a check down Alex, I can see us winning nine games because of how good this team really is and definitely in a porous division as we are in. Last year, we was one game away, basically one catch away from winning the division. So this year, you need to take the division. But if Daniel Jones don't make the playoffs for the Giants, I say we go for another quarterback. Now, if we do make the playoffs, but it's clearly, clear as day that the defense is leading us and Daniel Jones just isn't messing up, we need to go look for a quarterback. If we're looking at every aspect of this team and the wide receiver is good, the running back is good, the offensive line is good, the defense is good, and we pinpoint that Daniel Jones just isn't taking us from point A to point B, we need to look for another quarterback. And the thing is, is that he has all the tools. He has everything that you want. He has a strong arm. He's very accurate. He has the leadership skills. He has the work ethic. He has everything, the tools to make him great. But can he really be great? Now, I've seen a lot of analysts, and they've been up here saying that throughout the whole NFL, that Daniel Jones has the most pressure. I don't believe that. For me, I believe that it is Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray he has the pressure of everything on the NFL. But when you're looking at the analysts on ESPNs and things of that nature, they will give a lot of leash to people that they like. 
Daniel Jones was just one of those guys that when he got drafted number six overall, everybody said that he was a reach. Nobody wanted to say that he that Dave Gettleman was correct. So it just really messed everything up. He has a very short leash with Giant fans and also with the analysts. But the people that they like, they give a longer leash. Now in New York, Daniel Jones is under the most pressure. Point blank period. He's under the most pressure. And I like that Mara has come out and say he's tired of losing. This is the time to make the playoffs. This is the time to see the fruits of your labor. Because if this doesn't work, we're going back into the draft. We're looking for a quarterback. Now, the quarterback will come into a better situation than Daniel Jones came into because this team is kind of pretty much made to make some type of playoff run. But Danny do not perform this season. It won't be a next one for him. And this has been a subtle take for Easy 3 Score Production. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also share the video. Sharing is caring. Help the channel grow. Until next time, I'm out.